Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I thought I'd do something a little different. I thought I'd show you some of the UX. We used to call that user interface when I used to do this for a living. Uh, the UX <clears throat> alternative designs. Now, uh, some of the things I'm showing you are brand new that I just kind of mocked up. Um, and some of them came up during the uh, beta test. Um, and, you know, just to be clear, when you when you come into a beta test, you're pretty much, you know, there, there were definitely some up changes to the UI. In fact, they took many of our suggestions from the team uh, beta testers. But, uh, of course, it's, you know, it's impossible for them to make, or I should say, extremely difficult and not, does it wouldn't make any sense to make major overhauls to the UI or the UX because uh, it would be a lot more testing and it would be... Um, you know, just a lot more time devoted to that rather than making the game better in other ways, uh, which we were all looking for. So uh, this is in no way a criticism of their user interface. And it's always easy. The second thing I should always tell you, you know, that it should be obvious to everybody is it's so much easier once somebody creates something to kind of rip it apart and come up with improvements than it is to come up from something from scratch, right? And there are, of course, best practices in other games that you can look at and, and, you know, see what they do well or what they don't do well and design it that way. Uh, but just, you know, just to be clear, this is in no way a criticism um, of the company. Uh, I do think there is hopefully in some future version, a lot of room for improvement. Uh, and I think that uh, in general, there are some inconsistencies as there always is in anything you create uh, and, and particularly in a, in a version 1.0. So the the thing that I would want to change if I had a magic wand would the first thing I would like to change is the what they call the select screens. In other words, when you click on a ship or a spaceport or a colony, and and the bottom left, as you can see here in the bottom left, uh, this select screen pops up, and from there there's a bunch of controls in the bottom, and you can do things and view you know, various stats, as I'm sure if you've played the game, you know all this. So let me put up the first screen now. Some of these ideas are old that we came up with, and some of them are brand new that I was just uh, tinkering with. So here is uh, a new idea I just put on the screen, and it takes a very different approach. Um, I, I like consistency through the UI, and one of the things I, I find that isn't perfect in the current game is that you have buttons and you have pop-ups and you have side screens and you have a lot of different things. And for a new user, for us who play the game for a while, right, we, we kind of, it becomes second nature, right? But for new users, um, it's a little daunting, I think. So what I proposed here, as you can see, is uh, I eliminated the buttons at the bottom. So that's the big change here that I proposed because I, I think controls are better uh, particularly when they're not labeled with words like this. I think they're better uh, centered at the action that you're trying to do. For example, if you look at my design here on the right, if you want to refuel and you're checking your fuel level, the button for refueling is right next to the fuel. If you wanted to stop and you're looking at your speed, you could hit the stop, which is right next to speed. If you're going to retrofit your design of your ship, and again, this button would only, this button here would only appear if... Uh, you, you could retrofit, right? And that happens in the current game too. I think it, it uh, highlights or it doesn't show up until you can. So the retrofit would appear right next to your design name right here. So now you're wondering, okay, there are other buttons too, right? There's buttons uh, to manage the fighters. There's buttons to manage the tactics. And there's buttons for the manual and auto settings, Right. So those things that are usually more than one click, in other words, you have to click those buttons and then something pops up and then you have to deal with them. I, I put them all in a single pop out screen. So when you click on the shield icon, and by the way, I thought this was uh, interesting to put the actual picture of the ship inside of the shield and make the shield bigger and also to put the admiral in there, too, as you can see. So when you click Anywhere except that the Admiral, I, I would imagine on the Admiral, if you hovered over it, just like currently, it would pop up the uh, Admiral stats. But if you click anywhere um, in the picture of the ship or on the shield to the armor, and that's what that little white arrow indicates that, hey, if you click here, there's something's going to pop up at the side. 
So if you click there, this pop-up screen appears. So in this pop-up screen, you can see I've put all those controls that would have taken two clicks to get to anyway, or one click to get to and a second click to select. I put them all here. And some things are actually more efficient. For example, if you want to change fleets currently, you have to leave the fleet. Then you have to click on join a fleet. Here you could simply use the pull down menu here and select a different fleet and you're immediately in a different fleet. I, I will admit there are a couple of things that take an extra click. So if you want to leave the fleet, it would take an extra click because the that button is usually on the main screen. Uh, also, if you want to create a, this is something I don't think most people do, but if you want to create a new fleet from one ship, that also has, you have to come into this screen, whereas before you could do it uh, from the main screen. But I think other than those two, everything is the same number of clicks or less, like changing a fleet, for example. And the best part is that there aren't eight pop-ups. There's only two pop-ups really from this screen, or I should say, when I say pop-ups, I mean the side panel here. So there's only two side panels. One is for when you click on the weapons, which I didn't show here, but that would work similar to what is currently exists. And then the second um, you know, pop-up panel here is when you click anywhere on the ship, I, the ship picture or the um, shield area. So anywhere there, this screen appears. And so this screen covers the tactics pop-up, which I put at the bottom here, the fighters pop-up, the manual settings pop-up, uh, and of course, it replaces some buttons like leaving a fleet. So what it does, right, there's two things. It adds a level of consistency and reduces the number of different panels that there are. And two, by removing that bottom panel, which I think is about 16% of the total area, you add more information, right? So in other words, you can see more. You can either decide to make a cleaner interface and just show less things, but have it be cleaner, uh, or as I did here, you can add more things. So now I can afford to add the icons for the weapons here. So you can see I have missiles uh, with two large, one medium and one small. And you could fit, I think you could fit up to eight of them. Now you can argue, well, it could be more than eight weapons. First of all, they're probably different size weapons, yes. But to have eight unique different weapons, it might happen. In that case, only the best eight show up, right? So there, there, there's things that don't work a hundred percent, but I mean, for the 99% of the cases, I think it would work uh, really well to show the weapons here. So that's new information that you couldn't see before, as well as the whole fact that the ship is inside the armor and the shield. I think it becomes much more obvious what it is versus originally when you looked at the shield icon and the armor icon and you couldn't tell what it was. The other cool thing that could be done here, and of course that just takes more work, is the ship could show the same damage that it does in game, right? So this could be a live image of the in-game. So when the ship gets hurt, or you know, I think the icon, the actual picture of the ship in-game changes to have show damage and more damage and more damage. In addition to the 100% dropping to 90% and 80% here, the picture of the ship itself could get more and more damage, which I thought would be really cool. Uh, Final points on this, you know, I don't have the same font they do, so my font's a little wider and it doesn't look exactly the same, so obviously that's not perfect. The colors, I did make the fuel, energy, and speed more colorful because I think it stands out better against the background image. I did keep the same concept of the background image there, though you certainly could throw that away as a new idea too and make everything a little clearer. And... Uh, the green bar for the weapons, I was just trying to make it stand out, which is similar to what they do, but that's, you know, I don't, I don't love the green. It could be certainly a different color or no color at all, right? It's not, the detail is not, and you'll see also, I think on my panel, there's some missing, uh, you know, pieces or the graphics aren't perfect, but it was just a concept, right? It's just a, a rough concept. But um, anyway, I found that very interesting. I hope you did too. Now let's take a look at the other one that I mocked up, which is a new version of the colony screen, a new version of the colony screen. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's the uh, in-game colony screen uh, and the planets aren't the same. I, I didn't name them the same or anything, so it'll look a little different when I show up, uh, show you my design. You know the, uh, the, amount, the large amount of data. You know, there's so much information and of course you've got to pop up to see certain things. Um, you can select the happiness. You can click here for revenue, uh, corruption. Uh, I 
thing. Yeah, the resources, of course, pop up on the side. If you look here for the Empire settings, yeah. And of course, there's the Colony Detail screen, which pops up. So I'm going to propose a different pop-up for this as well as the actual Select screen itself, okay? Uh, so if you take a look here, here's what I uh, mocked up quickly. And there's a couple of things that uh, you look at right away. By the way, something I didn't mention in the previous uh, part when we were doing the select screen for ships was one of the things I did is I moved the next previous buttons down here below the Empire uh, banner. And I thought that was important because I like having an icon in the upper left showing what you're looking at. I mean, I know, again, it's obvious for all of us that we've been playing for so long. But when you first play the game and you look over here on the screen, there's a background image of, of the colony. I mean, yeah, the, of the planet there, but there's also a background image of the planet in the ship screen as well. And so, you know, it says continental planet there, but when you look here, there's just a name and it's not so obvious what you're looking at. So I like having this icon in the upper left-hand corner. Here would be a picture of a colony, of course, in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, in the previous one I showed you, there was a picture of a ship in uh, the spaceport. There'd be a picture of a spaceport. So you can clearly see what you're looking at. And I also like these next previous buttons being next to each other so that you can go back and forth through your previous and uh, next selections much quicker than having to go all the way across to the other side of the select screen. Uh, but the other thing is just the cleanliness of this screen, right? So this has all field labels because it's so much information. It's not like a ship where you can do almost everything graphically here. There's so much information that I thought having like um, a break here between the field names and also to not use the background image, right? So I, I, a big change here is that the background image is just distracting and covers things up. You've got an image of the planet type in the upper left-hand corner. And that's good enough. Now the data is a lot clearer. And again, the second thing, as I mentioned earlier, is removing those buttons along the bottom, just like before, and moving everything off to a side panel. Now, almost everything is multiple clicks currently. So if you look here, if I have to click um, to set colony automation, I have to go to a screen to select it, right? And if I want to build new ships, in fact, it's multiple screens because I've got to... Uh, uh, sometimes hit next a couple of times to get to all my ships, right? Building facilities is a pop-up, of course. Return to the top. Managing troops is a pop-up. So the only thing that you can't do in one click is changing the tax rate or setting this. Uh, what I'm saying is that you can't do in my approach. So by removing all these buttons at the bottom and moving them to a side panel, the only thing you lose is to quickly do this, which hardly anyone's ever going to do, is change your capital. And decrease and increase the tax rate. Yes, you might do it. But again, these pop-up panels on the right uh, can lock, right? They can stay open. And then as you scroll through your planets, you could leave it open and quickly change the tax rate if you felt a desire, a need to. So if you look at my design here, all of the uh, buttons on the right here, these little white arrows, mean if you hover, just like in game now, just like when you hover over the population. So if you can see here, I'm hovering over the population and the population screen pops up. So just like that, the same thing would happen here, but um, except that every field except development, uh, and, and of course you could make development pop up, but I don't think there's more information you need from that. But uh, I just didn't mock it up. You could certainly, but every field will pop up just like this. But rather than having all these different types of pop-up screens, like the resource one here, they're different sizes, they're different screens. Here on my design, when you hover over and then click on to lock it, the resource, for example, the only one I mocked up here, the resource field, it calls up the colony screen and it collapses all of the other things like facilities, troops, characters, population, and opens only the resource, um, in this case, because I selected the resource field, only the resource um, screen. Now, if you go back to population, which I didn't mock up, but if you were to click here on population and hover over this field, the pop-up would appear. And if you clicked on it, it would lock on population. You'd have all the information of population here. So all those little mini screens you saw earlier would all be in one place. And if you hover over facilities, the facility building screen will come up. It'll have a picture of all of the facilities. You can upgrade them. So again, this weirdness at the bottom when those buttons change, right? If you look here again, when you click on facilities and now you've got to scroll left and right 
three or four times and you've got return to the top to get back to these buttons, all that gets cleaned up and goes away because everything's done in the side panel. So big picture, the select screen serves as an information viewing thing, right? So by itself, it's mostly for viewing. There are some controls you can do, for example, back in the ship select, some common controls like refuel and things like that. But generally speaking, it's an information screen. And when you want to quickly give commands, you call up one of the side panels by literally just either hovering and clicking or sometimes hovering and call up the side panel. And from there, you have a much cleaner interface, a much better way. And, and almost everything is in the same pop-ups. You know, have tens of pop-ups of different styles here. And so you eliminate the need for all those buttons. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you gain about 16, 17% area by getting a, one or two more fields along the bottom. And so we're able to separate characters from troops, for example, because the characters tend to stack up here. So you get a lot less crunching there. And you could, by the way, it, when you hover over a field, it will only, it'll collapse all of the others and then it'll open only, in this case, resources, for example. But from this pop-up, once the pop-up is up, you can open the rest of these. You can uncollapse the rest of these and then use the scroll bar, which I didn't mock up very well here. So ignore that terrible <laughs> attempt at a scroll bar. But you can use the scroll bar then to scroll up and down. So you could literally open all of these um, collapsible menus, open them all, uh, just like in, if you go back to the game here, just like you can do here in, um, I think under policy settings. Yeah. So you could open all of these. You see, I'm doing that in policy settings here. You can open them all and then just scroll up and down. So the same thing would happen here. So very much how this behaves here, my screen over here on the right would behave the same way. The only difference is when you select that field, like I have highlighted here for resource, it will collapse the rest and open only the resource. So uh, anyway, I thought this would be entertaining. Um, again, I will certainly, and, and I have been proposing these when we were beta testing, and I will be happy to share them again with the developers, and they may or may not find some good ideas from them. Sometimes we propose things during the beta test. And of course, they couldn't do everything, but sometimes they would take the best of what they liked or something that was easier to implement. So they really, you know, the game definitely improved over the uh, course of the year that we worked on it. And not just from us, right, but from the developers themselves uh, making changes and fixing things. So it's always an evolution with the user interface. But I just thought I'd show you uh, some of the mock-ups and some of the things that we had either proposed or some of this stuff is new or that we will propose and just get some feedback. Love to hear from you in the comments and discuss it back and forth. There are probably things I didn't think about and there's always like a button here or something I didn't remember to put in. So like I said, it's not perfect by any means. Not Somebody would have to look over it and we'd have to spend time on it. But it's a different approach, right? The, the approach, so what, what I'd love to hear comments about is, you know, dropping the buttons at the bottom, making more area and then and using the pop-out panels, the side panels to do most of the grunt work of selecting things and upgrading things and clicking on troops and upgrading troops and changing the the build, um, the building queue, right? So moving things up and down the queue. You don't have to do that in the little weird interface anymore. You can do it over on the right side. Of course, I didn't mock that up, but, you know, just as an example. So love to hear your opinion about that. Uh, but before we go, I just want to show you another quick alternative one that I came up with for the uh, <clears throat> colonies. So uh, I like this one somewhat better in that <clears throat> you got tabs. So you're, there's not as much expanding and collapsing, which can get a little cumbersome. But the um, that's kind of how the other interface was in the uh, settings that we talked about earlier. So I, I kind of find that to be... Uh, the way they went, and I was kind of trying to stick with their interface. But they also use tabs, and I think this might be a pretty good uh, tab interface in that. So what would happen is this. When you clicked on resources, like we said before, or in this case, population, when you clicked on population, then the population tab would be selected here. Now, if I clicked on resources, then when this pop-up panel popped up, it would pop up with resources, right? And of course, I could move between the tabs once this panel is open, just like I was talking about when I could expand or collapse earlier. 
So this is a nice way in that the top information up here is fixed. You can always get to it. You can always see the primary data. I don't know that that's the best information to show. I kind of just threw it together. And uh, this population uh, tab would have to scroll. So I, I might say put some less information at top, but it's just the contrast the concept earlier which was expanding collapsing this would be a tabular approach to the same thing but again the same concept each field would open uh one of these tabs and you could move through them and keep this open and, and then look through all the data very very quickly so nothing really has changed in the concept just an implementation uh, so lastly, uh, I just want to remind you to subscribe. So anytime I release a new video every two or three days, um, you can be alerted about it. Make sure you do check out my other videos, including the, uh, my series I'm going to be updating soon, which is on mechanics. I think I'm going to do uh, fleet behavior. I think that's been a big question that's coming up. And I am also going to do another deep dive on customizing ships, late game or mid to late game. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, check out my other videos. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments.